Hi you guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to the complete skinny on my closet reorganization. I think we're all watching that show on Netflix right now with Marie Kondo and I just have the decluttering bug so hardcore. And so this is actually what you're about to see, kind of a vlog of organizing my closet over the past week or so. I feel like with really big tasks, it's so much better to break them up into smaller things, take a few days with it, and not make it one big thing you have to do all at once because then it's like, I don't have time to do it right, so I'm just not going to do it at all. So instead, I've been breaking this up into smaller steps, and you can see each step in the clips that follow. I have a free printable for you. I have... Lots of info on starting to kind of put together a capsule wardrobe because that's one of my projects for myself in 2019. And just overall, that clean, good feeling of decluttering. So let's dive in. All right, so here's the before shot in all of its glories. It's a total mess. I have my jewelry here on the back of the closet door. I've got this thing, which is currently holding extra toiletries and stuff, and it's overflowing. Not proud of this scene. <laughs> There's some slippers. There's my Mickey ears are all like pushed to the back back there. It's a big mess. Some boots are on this top row and then there's Nate's clothes. Our shoes are kind of like haphazardly on these racks. And then that's my clothes, plus some purse storage, my little sweater <laughs> stack, my stuffed animal stack, and this has flip-flops in it. This has hats, but it's also kind of overgrowing with sweaters, as you can see. And then this has purses, and this has purses, and then these are all just a complete jumble of clothes. And then that's where the doggies go hang out when they want some quiet time. So this is the before. Let me. Oh, and there's some random storage, like boxes being stored in here. Some random clothes that got stacked up there. It's I'm not happy with it. So time to start this project. Status update. I'm at the point where things are looking pretty good in here, feeling good about it, but this is a scene. <laughs> um, I've already filled up those two bags, those two big trash bags to donate, and I am just need to sort through what's left on the bed and kind of decide if I'm keeping some of these things or not. But I am really happy with how I need to go through this. I think that's like a different project. I don't know. I don't wear most of it. It's like costumey kind of jewelry. But I'm happy with how this is turning out. So I sectioned it into Nate's section and my section. And so I'm using this nine drawer as a divider, which works, I think, so much better. So it makes it feel like this is his closet and the other side is mine. And I put his shoes up here because he has back problems from work and it's a lot easier for him to reach up for his shoes than down. So I think that was a good change for him. And then his clothes are really easy to organize. I just put like the dressy clothes, the long sleeve shirts, the short sleeve shirts. He already has an empty hanger. <laughs> the pants and then this little tie rack is nice for organizing ties and belts. And he does have his dressy shoes down there, but to be completely honest, obviously the heels and stuff aren't his. <laughs> So I kind of overflowed my shoes onto his side. These are just like lesser worn pairs of, of shoes that I have. Whereas this side is like my more often worn kind of everyday type shoes, running shoes, stuff like that. And on the top, this is just an apothecary jar full of scrunchies because I have a lot and I like to wear scrunchies almost like part of my outfit. <laughs> so I don't know, I kind of thought that made sense. And I just need to go through here. My goal is to have more of a capsule type wardrobe um, it's gonna be a big capsule wardrobe, but I am limiting everything to the colors white, blush, olive, gray, black, and some like chambray, Cinderella blue, if you will, denim, and beige. So I think that's like a nice color palette. Definitely suits what I like. And I've only started hanging up some things, so this will kind of fill out once I get my whole wardrobe in there. Then I put some bag storage up here. I decided to take my really often used bags out of their dust bag. I hope that's okay. I know it shouldn't be stored in a bright place, but I think in the closet they'll be okay because I just want to be able to grab and go because I switch purses a lot and I just want to have my handy purses ready. I've got my little... <laughs> the section of the closet that makes it look like I'm a child. Yes, I know. And then in these, I've just got hats, which I narrowed down to match my color palette. 
I have extra purses, purse organization and storage stuff, and then some extra hats and swimwear. It's kind of random. So yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling really good about this so far, except for I'm at that point where I'm like, okay, I want to quit for now. And I can't because I don't have my life together. <laughs> but I'm making progress. Maybe I'll just take a break. All right. A few hours later, finally happy with my progress. I bagged up three bags to donate and they are waiting to go out. The room has been cleaned up and the closet is a thing of beauty. Very, very, very happy with it. <laughs> Nate's little section, my little section. I haven't done the laundry, so there's a lot of clothes that need to still be put away. And I figure I'll kind of keep refining and honing my little capsule wardrobe and seeing what works and getting a few basic pieces I need. But for now, this is the situation. So lots of good progress today. Right, Lo? Hi again, I'm checking in. It's been probably about a week and I'm slowly been chipping away at the organization and weeding things out and kind of curating my new capsule wardrobe and all of that, but I'm determined to finish the project today, which means I'm washing every piece of laundry in this house aside from what we're wearing. And I have a couple DIY things, so let's knock this project out. All right, so for my next closet related trick, I wanted to have little dividers because I enjoy sectioning off my clothes, but I didn't want to spend money on them. So in fact, I didn't want to spend any money on this whole project. So I'm working with DIY and what I have around the house. And I thought I would just make my own little dividers for the closet. So I have this little printable that I just whipped up. I'm printing them out and um, I'm going to cut them out and then I'm going to laminate them because I don't have any like card stock or thicker paper. So I'm hoping the lamination will be enough to make them strong and to hang well in the closet. So I made some for me in pink and I made some for Nathaniel in blue. And I just been printing them off and um, they look pretty cute, I think. So hopefully once I cut them and laminate them, they'll work well. And of course, I'll have this for you guys as a free printable. It'll just be blank so you can hand write in or add some text for your own closet categories, whatever they may be. But I'll do it in a free printable in both pink and blue for you guys. If you have kids, that might be a good way to sort their closets. Okay, status update on these. I'm just taking the individual sheets, putting them in the little lamination pouches, which are these things. Running it through the laminator, it's so easy. Honestly, I was really intimidated to get a laminator and it's been one of my favorite DIY purchases. You guys know I use it all the time in my planner stuff and this kind of thing and like I love laminating. I'm always asking Nate, do you have anything I can laminate? So it's definitely not necessary, especially if you print these on cardstock, but if you have a laminator or you need an excuse to finally get one, I'll link the one that I have down below. It's just, it's so helpful. So I'm just laminating the whole sheet, then cutting it all four directions on the paper cutter to keep it extra fast and convenient. So once it's cut on the paper cutter, I just cut this center part out by hand, and now I have a nice, durable, sturdy little closet hanger. All right, I have a finished deck of closet hangers. These turned out great, I think, so I hope you guys enjoy this printable as well, and I will show you how they look all spread out. I'm also doing another sort of DIY. I've seen on Etsy where you can get really cute vinyl labels for, they seem to be specifically for those Alex Nine drawers like I have, and especially because people store makeup in them, so it'll say like mascara, foundation, or whatever. And it's just really cute with the cursive writing, and I love labeling things, but like my little label maker on those big drawers wouldn't really, it'd be kind of silly. So I didn't want to, inv like, I'm, like I keep saying, I'm trying not to spend any money on this closet overhaul and just be resourceful. And also I feel like I'm going to probably change my mind and reorganize my drawers every few months because I always do. So I thought, why not just print it out on regular printer paper, cut it, and just tape it. Like maybe I'll actually use double-sided tape and just tape it on. I mean, I know that's like sort of a, a super thrifty version, but I actually think it will work and be cute and look just as good. So I just downloaded this cute font. It was free. I can put a link for this down below if you want to download a similar like cute cursive font and I'll show you how this turns out. All right, so a few hours of laundry and final, final organizing later. I think 
this closet project is done. So I'm ready to show you the complete after. So here's the room. There's no piles of laundry anywhere and that's the best feeling. <laughs> There's a cute little doggy over there. So this clothes storage actually starts under the bed now. Well, it doesn't start, it ends here, I guess you could say. Oh, hello. I don't know why she loves that spot. You are so cute. Hi. Hi, hello. <laughs> okay, this vlog is canceled. We're just gonna watch her for the next hour. Lolita, you a good girl. Anyway, so I have these under the bed storage tubs. You saw one of them is an earthquake kit that I gave Nate for Christmas. One is like gift wrapping, and this one is out of season clothes, formal clothes, and just things we don't wear very often. So out of sight, but not out of mind. Then the dresser, this left side is Nate's, so he has his like socks and underwear, t-shirts, pajamas and sweatpants and stuff. And then this side is mine. And the way I organize this is that the stuff in the dresser are things that don't necessarily relate to me getting ready for my day every single day. Um, it is stuff I use often, obviously, that's why it's still accessible, but it's not a part of what I consider my every single day <laughs> outfits for going out into the world. So in here, I have my workout clothes in this top drawer, sports bras, workout leggings, and then the workout tops I put in this little container because they're so like slippery, they don't really stay folded nicely. Then, you guys, be nice, don't make fun of me. I have a whole Disney drawer. <laughs> it's so beautiful though, isn't it? I love it. So you guys know I like collect different ears to wear to the parks and my natural affinity for Disney has led to me accumulating some Disney shirts and sweatshirts. And so I don't wear them on an everyday basis. I definitely wear them when I'm going to the parks or honestly, if I just feel like I need a little pick me up. So this is my little happy Disney drawer and we all have our ridiculous collections. This is one of mine and I love it. Um, and then this last one is just pajamas and like comfy, like shirts I've stolen from Nate over the years, just comfy stuff. And then with my silkier pajamas, I put them in this little tub to help them because they don't really like hold their shape. But everything else is looking pretty nice in there. And you're looking nice. Look at you. You're so dapper. Who lays like that? You're so cute. How did you just think to yourself, I'm going to cross my paws. Did you have a little thought? All right. In case you guys don't remember, I'm going to insert the before footage as if this were truly an episode of tidying up with Marie Kondo or HGTV. All right. And now for the after. I really like it. I like maybe most of all that I didn't spend any money on this reorganization. I just cleared out three huge bags to donate and everything else has a purpose. So I'm going to just walk you through it. Like I explained before, this first section is Nate's. He has his shoes up high so he can reach them. He has his belts on a rack. I'm obsessed with these little hangers. I think they turned out so cute. It's like our own little shop now. I feel like I'm going shopping in here. So I divided all of his stuff up. I thought maybe I could help him get in the habit of picking out his outfit for tomorrow and he could hang that right here every night. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> but then he's got his socks, his jeans, short sleeve button ups. I should put that on this side. Short sleeve button ups, long sleeve button ups. He's, you know, a pretty simple guy, but he does have a lot of button ups. Dress shirts, blazers, suits, and then his extra hangers. So I have all of his clothes on these like beige hangers. Makes it easier to kind of visually sort what's his. Down here on this shoe rack, and I will link these shoe racks. They're just like really simple from Amazon. The bottom shelf is for his dress shoes and the top shelves I've taken over. I need to work on weeding out my shoes, but I'm not there right now. I did a little bit, so I'm good. That's good. Then we have this Alex 9 drawer, which is kind of our divider, which I'm really happy with. And I'm also so happy with these completely free labels. I think it's so cute. Just as cute as the vinyl labels, and I love that I didn't have to pay <laughs> anything for them. So everything is just what it says, very simple. I have like self-tanner and extra beauty supplies. I have all my bath bombs and things. I like to stock up on my cotton pads because I don't like to be out of anything. This is what my mom would have called them, so I thought that was cute. 
but I have just, you know, like everyday stuff in those bottom drawers. And then up here on top, I have this, which is making the whole closet smell absolutely amazing. It is an oil diffuser from Nest, and the scent is um, apricot tea, I think. It smells so good. And it's like a very gender neutral smell, so if it lingers on Nate's clothes at all, it won't be a problem. Then I have my fabulous Paris wine glass from Las Vegas. And inside are these cool little things my aunt told me about. I got them on Amazon. I will show you in action. You put them over a hanger, and then that lets you hang another hanger and then another hanger. So you could really maximize your closet space with this if you wanted to. I mainly use it to put together an outfit. So like my first section is called Outfits on Deck, and I want to kind of start assembling a few outfits that I know will look cute at the beginning of the week, hanging them here, and then throughout the week I can easily just grab the little nested hangers and have a whole look. So. Like this is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow and I want to put together a few more outfits just kind of play with my clothes more that way and I also have all of my extra hangers here obviously mine my clothes are all on pink and I really like these huggable hangers they're so thin and they things don't slip off of them so they're perfect so up here I do have my most used bags out and ready to be taken on the run and then I have all my sections so I have leggings these are something I never ever would have hung up before, but with my new system where I'm kind of containing everything in the closet, I thought, why not just hang my leggings and I'll have them easily accessible in here because I do wear leggings a lot. Then I have jeans. Basically what I did was took all of my formal wear, you know, I work from home so I don't have to wear like office clothes. Lucky me, I know. But I do like to get dressed and try to look cute every day. <laughs> but I took my more formal wear packed it away under the bed. So what you see here is just what I tend to wear on an absolute daily basis. I wear a lot of like athleisure kind of clothes. I still feel cute, but also comfortable. And I'm just kind of embracing that I have a more casual lifestyle right now. And there's no reason for my closet to be overflowing with like prom dresses when I'm not going to like extravagant things or going to an office or anything like that. So that's what this reflects. That's why I have leggings. That's why I have jeans. That's why I actually have my t-shirts hanging up, which I've never done, but I like it. Like they don't get as wrinkly and I can see at a glance the colors and what I have. I think you can kind of see, I'm starting to really dial in my capsule wardrobe colors. So I have white, pink, like especially a blush pink, and olive army green, chambray, um, gray and black. So there is some color, definitely, which I think is key because in the past when I've tried to do a capsule wardrobe, I did like a lot of black and it honestly started to depress me. So I can't live without my pops of pink and I think it's fun to bring in some navy. It's fun to bring in some light blue occasionally, beige, pink, and like neutrals. So that's what you can see the color scheme is forming and I'm still dialing it in and I can do a future video like truly just focusing on the actual capsule wardrobe. I'm making a spreadsheet that I'll give you guys as a free printable so hit subscribe so you don't miss that. But then just continuing down the line I have long sleeve shirts, I have button ups, I have sweatshirts, then I have actual sweaters. I have a few dressy things just like lacy tops and blazers that I can kind of grab for a nicer night out but not like the majority of my formal stuff is packed up and then the last thing I have is jackets which I mostly have actually in the coat closet but I do have a few in here so I can easily just grab a simple hoodie or a denim jacket or whatever then I have the cute feel good section of my closet sorry not sorry <laughs> these haven't changed um my hats purses purses extra hats and swimwear. And the Dockey's little chill area, although as you see, <laughs> they're in their preferred spots at the moment. Well, actually DC left us, but I bet she's still here. Yep. Hey girlfriend, what you doing? So that completes my closet reorganization. I feel like a new woman. I'm serious, it gives you a new lease on life to just truly clean out what you own and lighten your load a little bit and then just feel like you know where everything is and you're streamlined and you can pick out a cute outfit that'll match without even having to think about it. It's a very good feeling. So I hope I inspired you to clean out your closets. Let me know down below, especially if you have any good closet organization tips. This is like an ongoing project that's never truly done. I'm just saying it's done for the sake of this video. 
I think we should constantly be editing our lives, editing our closets. It's a process and we're all in it together. So let me know what you guys think. Definitely hit subscribe and stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.